charge. Hi there, it's me, Mr. DNA, and I'm here to help you. Sorry, there's no way to get up to the Raptor pen until the new generator gets unpacked and built. You have to kickstart it with your stun rod. By the way, whatever you do, don't try licking the ends of these things. Oh yeah, this is good coffee. It almost makes up for the danger and humidity. Or we'd swing it all the way for you. Better danishes. Come on, who tore up the cage track? I tell you, that raptor ain't budging until it gets fixed. So, do you know what we do if the raptor escapes? Yeah, Muldoon says to get up somewhere high so it can't reach you and only use our weapons as a last resort. Oh, so there's a proper plan. Huh. I was just gonna push you over to distract you and run. Hey! Well, <laughs> actually, I was, uh, I was gonna do that to you too. Pushing team moving. Step away! Cage ladder's jammed. Somebody punch in the security code again, will ya? Good luck. I can't figure that panel out at all. Joffrey, raise the gate!
Velociraptor? No, not Velociraptor. Maybe one of the other dig sites has turned up something. keep finding our old coins. What? Really? That's amazing! Huh? How so? Well, until now, we had no idea that dinosaurs had any kind of culture, let alone a system of currency. Ugh, remind me, what are your qualifications for being on this dig again? I own a spade! <laughs> oh, I can feel it! There's a raptor right under here! Yep, I am bang on target! I just gotta keep digging for a couple of more- Oh, come on! It was there? I was so close! Velociraptor? Yeah, it's good shape, too. I want partial credit for that thing! It's basically mine. Uh, one day I forget to bring- Maybe I can help. I'm here to help. You! Remember, Dr. Sattler and Grant want us to be especially careful when digging up this fossil. As I say, not as I do. Next time, I'm just bringing a sandblaster. by the time I get this thing out. Yeah. Six inch retract. 
retractable claw, like a razor, on the middle toe. Dr. Grant! Dr. Ellie! We're ready to try again! I hate computers. Feelings mutual. I give up. You give it a try. Uh, be careful. That rope's holding up, uh, some, you know, uh, oh, no, what's it called? Uh, no, it's, it's my tongue. Delicate equipment. That's it. It was holding up a bunch of delicate equipment. Oh, uh, sorry. Outside with this thigh. Really? Uh, no. That's mine. I had chicken legs for lunch. Okay, I figured out what's wrong with it. It should have two wheels, not one, and handlebars. That's why you fell off of it, Dave. No handlebars. Yeah, that's much safer. It was really hard to just balance on it. That's great. Now it looks like the picture in the instructions. Shoot the radar into the ground and the phone bounces the image back. This program is incredible. Two more years and we won't have to dig anymore. That's the sound of that. That thing looks like a six-foot turkey. <laughs> Yahoo! Who do you think you are? 
Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Mm. John Hammond. I own an island. Kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular. Spared no expense. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. If I could just persuade you to sign off on the park, I could get back on schedule. What kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. So you two, um, dig up, dig up dinosaur? <laughs> well... Try to. <laughs> You'll have to get used to Dr. Malcolm. He suffers from a deplorable excess of personality, especially for a mathematician. Chaotician. Chaotician, actually. Madam, welcome to Jurassic Park. You'll find a vehicle you can take to the visitor center on the road over there. need spares, get them from storage, not from one of the control panels.
let's get something straight, John. Your investors, whom I represent, are deeply concerned. 48 hours from now, if they aren't convinced, I'm not convinced. I'll shut you down, John. <laughs> of Veriformin's been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a hunt, this thing. The T-Rex is 32 miles an hour. T-Rex? Mm -hmm. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. You have a T-Rex. <laughs> Dr. Grant. My idea is up to that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Ha! <laughs> 
They do have those creepy weird eyes. You'll find a great dino fat just down there. of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito. And now we can make a baby dinosaur. Good day, Henry. Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That's it. <laughs> So I've got to try attempting this. It's not possible. This is one thing the history of evolution has taught us. It's that life uh, finds a way. What species is this? Uh, it's a velociraptor. <laughs> They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. They remember. All right, let's feed these overgrown lizards then. Come on, let's go. Just add cap. Isn't that part of the paddock control panel?
for a meal. Soda. Transports for the afternoon. The driver. Oh no 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 driver. They're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spared no expense. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the, the butterfly. The butterfly can flap its wings in Peking and Central Park. You get rain instead of sunshine. Look at this. See, see, I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Don't be scared. Come on, it's okay. She's sick. I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's alright, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I have to see the dinosaurs dropping. Yes, uh, we know they're toxic, but the animals don't eat them. You sure? Pretty sure. Nice, Sarah. Oh, uh, if you ever meet my daughter, don't tell her I named a six-ton dinosaur after her.
Dr. Sattler, she's looking right as rain again. Speaking of which, we should get back to the visitor center before the storm catches us. There should be another car parked in the compound northeast of here. Not far to the visitor center, Dr. Sattler. I don't fancy that dino's chances of balancing on the trunk. We better make another way over for her. There isn't a bridge here. Hmm. Ladder to that walkway. But you know, I can't blame him for wanting to get out of this weather. And I guess they took the car with them as well. We better find ourselves a shortcut, Dr. Sattler. Huh, where's the crank off the gate winch gone? I bet some greedy dino ate it. Fence. We'll be back at the visitor center in no time.
visitor center through that hole. I told you how many times we needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle Stop doors. Right here. Item 151 on today's glitch list. We have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo when the computers aren't even on their feet yet. Our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Quiet! All of you! We're approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Remember, viable embryos. They're no use to us if they don't survive. 1.5 million if you get all 15 species off the island. Seven o'clock, the stock. You'll have to find another way around. There's been a rock slide. Although, I guess you can see that. <laughs> Sorry. You ain't getting through here anytime soon. <laughs> Hey, a little help here? I was climbing the tree to pet a brachiosaur, but I fell and, well, this happened. Come on, cut me down already! Oh, thank you. Here, let me return the favor. You can use this to bring dinosaurs into the paddock, which is particularly handy if there's a wall you need to smash through. But, uh, don't tell the construction guys I told you that. <laughs> Cornered! Somebody! Anybody! 
Thanks. Here, come on up. Phew, those things were spitting at me. You have any idea how much dry cleaning is on this island? Clear this road. Doesn't anyone have a jackhammer or something? That is just the ticket. Hold on a sec. Rocks zero, Gary one. Go on ahead. I bet you didn't know this. Oh, uh, I uh, finished debugging the phones. Uh... But the uh, system's gonna be uh, compiling for uh, 18 to 20 minutes, so some of the minor systems, they might go on and off for a while. Anybody want a soda or something? Whoa. Fences are failing all over the park. Security systems are shutting down. Phones are out too. Access main program grid. You didn't say the magic word. Please. I wonder if perhaps you would be good enough to be like my match. Sure. I'm going with him. Hey, what did I touch? Uh, we didn't touch anything. We stopped. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. Did you feel that? What is that?
a little knowledge for you.
Tem. You need another hint? No problem. Maybe I can help.
You okay? I'm throw up. That's okay. Just give me a hand. Ugh. The thing about climbing is you never, never look down. Okay. Shut down trip the circuit breakers. Three minutes, I can have the power back on in the entire park. Just to be safe, I want everybody in the emergency bunker until Mr. Arnold returns and the whole system's up and running again. Having Ned to do was a mistake. Should have been there by now. Nice boy. What do you want? What do you want? You want food?
Want to learn something new? Take a look down there. Visitor said it's just about a mile of that rise there. Just keep. Whoa! 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 Are, are those meat eating? Uh, meat of sources? Really uniform direction changes, just like a flock of birds evading a predator. They're, uh. They're flocking this way.
something went wrong. Oh. I'm gonna go get the power back on. You can't just stroll down the road. <laughs> I think I can follow oh. this and oh. then talk you through it. Yeah. Come on, let's go. This way. Mr. Arnold? Mr. Arnold? After 20 or 30 feet, you come to a T-junction. Just never follow the main cable. I understand how to read a schematic. Okay, following the piping.
Let me see the box. It says high voltage. switch by hand. You've got to pump up the primer handle in order to get the charge. All right, here I go, okay? Okay, charged. Mr. Hammond, I think we're back in business. <laughs> We can make it if we run. No, we can't. Why not? Because we are being hunted.
Here's another fascinating fact for you.
phones are working. Children, all right? Grandpa! Call the mainland. Tell them to send them helicopters. Gonna come through the glass!
to endorse your park. So have I. Uh, um.